Okay, then let's have a go at 20 then. Uh, the last question in this section. Um, so we should be fairly thoroughly familiar with all these definite integrals now. Let's do this one then. Integral of sine is minus cos, so it's minus 4 lots of cos x. e to the x integrates to e to the x, so it's minus 2 lots of that. A constant integrates to a constant, constant times x, so that's 5x, minus 5x. We're integrating that between the bounds of 0 to 1. So, top value, put 1 in, minus 4 cosine 1, minus 2 e to the 1, minus 5 times 1. That's the top value. Take away the bottom value. So, minus 4 cosine of 0. Minus 2 e to the naught, minus 5 times naught. Close that bracket, close the square bracket. So that equals then, minus 4 cos 1, minus 2 lots of e, minus 5, that's your top value. Take away, cos naught is 1, so that's minus 4. e to the naught is 1, so that's minus 2. 5 times naught is naught, so that's naught. Okay then, so that's fairly easy. That would be plus 6 on the second bracket, won't it? So that's minus 6, and minus minus 6 is plus 6. So we can just work that out in one fell swoop. So bracket, and then we've got minus 4 cos 1. So negative 4 times cos 1, close the cos, minus 2 times the exponential of e to the power 1. Yeah? down to ground level, minus 5, close that bracket, and then we said it was, that's minus 6, so this is minus, minus 6 is plus 6, so I'm just going to add 6 at the end, and you get six, minus 6.597, the 59 rounds up to 60, minus 6.60, and that was the 2dp, wasn't it? Okay then, good, that's funny done then, that's this section done now. Great. So we should be fairly okay with definite integration after these 20 questions. Okay then, guys. Uh, well done, and I'll catch you again in the next section. Cheers.